You ready to rock, boys and girls? Because I sure as hell am. Doomed. Or sorry, the doomed apocalyptic horror hunting. Oh, man. I'm in love. So, you may be wondering, foolery, what you got here? What I got here is the newest, you know, sort of new, came out earlier uh, in August, uh, one of the newest skirmish war games to hit the market, published by everyone's favorite Osprey Games. Uh, this game is built by a kit basher for kit bashers. You may be wondering if you're new to this scene what kit bashing is. Kit bashing is a lot of what I made some early videos on. My uh, whole making a Gatling gun out of combining a bunch of other models uh, for Wild West games. That's kit bashing. Kit bashing can be as simple as taking two different sets and throwing them together. Uh, from the same game, or uh, taking a set from a different game and another set from a different game, combining those together, uh, chopping up metal models, slapping plastic pieces on, using green stuff to sculpt and shape your creations. Uh, that is kit bashing. Kit bashing is an art uh, that is often learned by those who play orcs and Warhammer 40k because more often than not, uh, to capture that orky sense of individuality, uh, one must kit bash in order to make their things look more orcish. This game is very simple lore. This book is lovely, wonderful print, wonderful quality. Expect no less from Osprey Games. I bought the Kindle edition just to kind of get eyeball and have as a, a reference when I'm away from this, if I want to do list building or that sort of thing. I love, I wish more war games would do this, man. Look at this, two tassel bookmarks built into the binding. Like, you are spoiling us, especially since it's it's rather unnecessary for such a deviously simple game system. This game is so simple. It is incredibly easy. Um, very light on the rules. A lot of the meat of the game comes from your uh, factions, and even then it's very simple. Uh, but the diversity of the things you're hunting, these horrors, these apocalyptic horrors, there are 36 in this book. Each one has minions. Well, not each one, but several have minion types attached to them, which means you have to have certain amounts of models on hand to represent not just the horrors, but the minions themselves. They give you rules on building your own horrors. It is, oh, there is so much here. I've played a few test games in uh, Photoshop, uh, just very simple grid-based, uh, you know, circle, dot, and square games where you move things around, and holy crap, is this, this is a hard game. It's a very, very hard game. It is uh, solo or 2v2 um, with always these AI-controlled horrors on the map. Um, and I'm going to say this, if you spend most, if you're in a competitive game where it's you and another player versus the monster and each other, you will find that actually killing each other often means that no one wins. <laughs> and don't just take my word for it. Um, there are several people who've been playing games of this, uh, test games, showing the game off on YouTube. Look up the Doomed War game in YouTube, you can see some test games, and you'll notice that everybody who fights each other, they don't tend to do well once the horror starts to get involved. So I am, I am, this game has hooked me. I, like, not in my usual sort of flight of fantasy, uh, you know, very quick 
do do some work on a project then shelve it for a while because here comes the next project this has consumed me uh, which has been very hard considering that I am currently working on a new map for VR chat for a role play group that I'm working with uh, that has been taking a ton of my free time um, and now my uh, attention deficit brain um, is having trouble finding time juggling this and juggling that project. Usually I am all in on both. Right now I'm sort of torn between the two because I'm obsessing over both. Um, oh, I don't know even where to begin with y'all. Uh, let's just start with the lore. We are a forgotten world. The company came with their ships and guns, then abandoned us. Only the doomed and the horrors remain. That's it. You are a band of hunters that follows a bold leader seeking uh, and destroying horrors. Your war brand grows in fame and wor as word spreads throughout the broken world. Fluff and lore in this game is very much surface level couple words and that is it it's all you get and i love it i love it so much i wish more i wish more skirmish war games were so light on lore with this like a lot of the art is beautiful you've got some lovely pictures of the kit bash miniatures like this is not an official miniature for this game this was kit bashed um by the gal that did all the fo the miniature photography. She kit bashed together so many things. Um, I watched an interview with the game, cr game creator, Chris McDowell, where he was talking about a lot of the art. He loves this art piece, and he's saying that how Osprey was saying they needed to dial back on the size of the hammer, and he said, no, it looks like something that someone could have kit bashed. So this giant oversized hammer stays, it stays. Uh, it's just, this embracement of this kit bashing mindset and then just the beautiful like sci-fi fantasy it's very I wouldn't say that it is 40k it's very 40k reminiscent um Chris, uh, Chris what was his name Chris McDowell in some of these interviews saying that he bought a lot of 40k miniatures and was kit bashing them together and a lot of those miniatures became the inspiration for a lot of this artwork. Um, by looking at a lot of the miniatures, I'm having trouble even like nailing down just what pieces were used. Um, the, the miniatures that they had created for the photography are beautifully done. Very hard to tell, you know, what's what. Where did it come from? Just just fantastic. Like I said, a, a game created by a kit basher for kit bashers. Um, do whatever you want. He has said that um, you don't necessarily have to go for this neo-feudal sci-fi look. Um, in fact, one of the factions in this game are literally like exiled aliens that have found this doom world and are now just hunting on the planet because they've got nothing better to do, pretty much. Um, so like that, the, that, that force right there is like, you could play that force with just like a bunch of, I don't know, models of the Predator from the Predator movie. Like your, your possibilities are endless um, with this, with the monsters. Uh, you don't necessarily have to kit bash. You can just essentially kit bash models from whatever range you want. Use whatever you want. Play whatever you want. Tell whatever stories you want to want, or you want you whatever you want. Um, I've gone out of my way uh, to take this as another chance to get my hands on some beautiful models from uh, Anvil Industries. They're specifically their Burning Rose. Uh, regiments line uh, which is sort of their sisters of battle uh, alternative model line that they created I knew almost instantly when I found the inheritor kings and their sort of vibe of this like techno feudalist thing 
like I wanted to, that's what I wanted to do. But I wanted to do it as a bunch of like a band of female knights uh, with plague doctor masks and um, all these different, and Anvil is a lovely company, just a beautiful company to use for this kind of stuff. Um, like Anvil just makes uniformly sized pieces in various different settings. You can go, you, you can create so much with what they have. If you're a hobby hoarder, what do I mean by hobby hoarder? Uh, well, let me just go show you. Okay, so when I say hobby hoarder, this is what I'm referring to. You stockpile shelves upon shelves of unbuilt and unpainted, unmade model kits that you sort of piecemeal out or, you know, you're, you'll get around to it one day. For me, I've always kind of viewed this as like my retirement fund once I'm old and gray and unsure of what to do with myself, well, this is what I'm gonna be doing with myself is building a lot of these model kits and just building dioramas or just doing whatever I feel like, especially in the wonderful world of solo war gaming, you can literally do whatever you like. But, uh, <laughs> God, I can't even. Um, the possibilities with this game are endless and I have just so much even not here I've got more stuff put up in storage that I, I, like to make the monsters to make armies all I gotta do is just start slapping stuff together so that's what I mean by hobby hoarder okay you've got just tons of bits and pieces and model kits just laying around collecting dust not doing anything this is your game right here, man. You can, oh, I wanna make videos. I wanna do, I wanna paint, I wanna convert. I want I want to get into the meat of this. I need to make two armies of making my Inheritor Court army with the animal industry bits. And then I'm going to just find what, just dig into what I've got and throw, throw paint to the canvas and make another army so that I can take this to the local store and be like, hey, you wanna play a game? You know, uh, pick up game, I've got two forces. That's all we gotta do. You know, that's, with these more niche games, this is the way to go about it, man. This, that's the way to go about it. Build build a couple armies, build, make, take some terrain with you, go to the local shop and just, you know, let people know, hey, I'm gonna be running some pickup test games of the Doomed, I've got two armies, you just, Come on down, we'll play some test games and, you know, have a little bit of fun. So, oh my god. Even if you don't want to kit bash, even if you don't want to be going that hard into this, uh, talk about cheap miniatures on hand, Reaper miniatures. Uh, you could go with Reaper. They've got tons of monsters and character models that you could use to this to no end. Um, this is obviously... With as loose this game is, WYSIWYG, which stands for what you see is what you get, what's paint, what's on the model is what he's using. That doesn't matter in a game like this. Um, it more or less comes down to, you've got this unit, he, here's his model, here's the equipment on the sheet kind of a deal. Uh, not that I wouldn't encourage you to do WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG always helps because then if you look at the equipment and you look at the model, you can kind of understand, okay, yeah, this model has a hammer and a pistol, this hammer has a great sword and a rifle, you know, that you should always kind of go for that, but again, doesn't really matter. Uh, the biggest your squads can get are eight models. Um, I have read that one of the horrors can have as many as 20 minions. So, that's where this game gets most involved. Some of the horrors are multi-miniature entities, the horrors themselves, with no minions. So it could be like three horrors kind of scattered around the map, all doing their thing. Um, it could be one big, it could be one big horror with a bunch of, with maybe just a couple minions, and then it could be a really big horror 
with several other really big minions. And then it could be just a horror that is a horde. I forget what it's called, but it's basically, this horror specifically is a zombie horde. It's like 20 models. There are no minions, they're all the horror, and the, it's basically objective survive when you're fighting that thing. So, um, like, that's what I love about this. And this game is hard. These horrors are hard to fight. Um, it's, like, if you want to talk about, like, the, the dark souls of skirmish games, you know, people throw that out all the time. The dark, the, the dark souls of tabletop wargaming, the top, the dark souls of RPGs. Man, this game is tough. Uh, I've been writing lore of my own that's sort of surface deep behind my uh, sort of group of Lady Templars, uh, known as the uh, the Morig Templar Order. Um, I've put it down that they're sort of like the last remnants. There's only like a little over 20 of them left. Uh, God. Um, yeah, I'm not so sure that's going to fly considering just how just how badly you will get stomped in this game. Um, yeah, it's it's that bad. So, I'm probably going to have to go back to the drawing board and make it seem like they're a little bit more they've got a little bit more numbers behind them uh, than uh, what I've wrote of. But, I digress. Um, I love this game system. Couldn't... In the short amount of time I've had it, I have been obsessing over it. Uh, I want to play it with other people. I'm, I'm excited. So, compared to every other thing... Like, compared to... I recently got into Gaslands as a laugh. That already thrown everything in a box and put it up. This... This is where I'm at. Like right here, right now, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be going all in on the Doomed. And if you're into model wargaming, if you're looking to get into model wargaming, highly recommend it. Uh, it's it's a good time, even solo. Uh, the fact that it's got solo wargaming built into it is beautiful. Uh, there's a lot more skirmish games doing that. Um, the fact that it's built into the system um, is mm, so good. Don't need to buy a supplemental PDF or download the free PDF with the with the with the AI rules. It's all right here, built into it. One sound package. Oh, I want to kiss this book. Maybe not. Maybe not him though. I'll just kiss this spine. Mwah. So good. So good. So. Can't recommend it enough, ladies and gents. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to try and record whatever I can related to my prep of the Doomed. Uh, but if I can have a ton of fun just playing this in Photoshop, um, that that should tell you something right there. Um, man, uh, there should tabletop simulator. There should be some people that get this on tabletop sim and just make it so that you can play this at the drop of a hat, man. And that would be brilliant. But, all right, I'm enough waffling from me for now. Uh, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment, all that usual stuff. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers. A most heartfelt thank you to my patrons and subscribers. I wouldn't be able to do this without y'all. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I have a Patreon. It's in the description of the video. You can also find my Twitter and my Discord server there if you would like to join the community and help this channel grow. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks again, everyone.